how's it going guys? Alright, this upcoming review is on a movie that I just rented at Redbox. I've been wanting to see this movie for a while now. I've I've heard of it ever since it was released in limited theaters. Of course, nowhere around here because everywhere around here is mainstream theaters. The only indie theaters near here is um at, at Hollywood. Hollywood's like uh, an hour away from where I live, but uh, eh, there's not much indie theaters here, but yeah. This movie is called Bad Kids Go to Hell, and um, it is available at Redbox, that is where I saw it. Um, I saw it a couple of days ago, and to be honest, it was okay. Um, I didn't really, I wanted to see it, and I kind of knew what it was about. I, it's kind of supposed to be like a dark comedy, um, you know. Um, it is a lot like what I expected, but not as good as what I expected. Basically, the most accurate answer you're gonna get to this movie is it's the breakfast, the breast, the I can't even talk right now. The Breakfast Club meets Detention. You know, Detention, that weird ass movie starring J uh, Josh Hutcherson and Dane Cook that just recently came out and is available at Best Buy for ten dollars. Um. That movie and The Breakfast Club, if you mix those two movies together, you get, boom, bad kids go to hell. Um, you know, it did remind me a lot like the attention. Definitely not as bizarre, but um, it did remind me a lot like it. And what it's about, basically these kids who go to detention and apparently just bad stuff starts happening. Like apparently there's like a ghost or something. I don't know. It gets all crazy, but I really just watch it for yourself if you want. Um, really nothing special. I was expecting a little bit more, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't think it would be a movie that I would want to see again, however. I am probably going to give this film 3 out of 5 stars. Almost gave, gave it 2.5 out of 5 there, but, um, you know, it, it's pretty, pretty... It's not funny. Like, I know they try to be funny, but I didn't really, like, laugh. Yeah, actually, yeah, sometimes I did laugh. Um, I do remember now, um, you know... Not a whole lot of blood and gore, like, a, like, you know, the ending, maybe the last 20 minutes, or, you know, show some blood and gore splatter everywhere, but that's about it. Uh, that's really all I have to say for Bad Kids Go to Hell. You know, it's a good movie to watch. Uh, perfect popcorn flick. I made popcorn. It's I watched a flick. Yeah, there you go. You have a popcorn flick. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but all right, so um, that's it for this review. Wow, God. Damn, that was short. I'm so sorry for this short review, but I really have nothing else to say about Bad Kids Go to Hell. I'm trying to think of something to say. Um, you know, a couple of kids go to the tension, bad stuff happens, and it involves ghosts. There you go. Alright guys, that is it for this review. Please leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next, and I will see you guys later.